before we will talk about the view, let's talk a little bit about that um, cemetery, Jewish cemetery. In 1967, the Jordanians whom, uh, occupied Palestine. That was supposed to be part of Palestine. And a lot of the Jewish cemetery been destroyed by that. They used the tombstone for their houses, roads, and uh, 1967, when we came back, we started to bring back all those um, uh, tombstones back to their places. Thanks God that we know of every tomb of this place. And now let's talk about it. We are at Mount, Mount of Olives. What we can see from there is the old city. This is the eastern wall of the temple built originally by King Herod and you can see the golden gate there according to what we, we know that the high priest, the Jewish high priest used to go out from here to Mount of Olives uh, um, and uh, Jesus entered Palm Sunday to the temple from there. Today um, the Temple Mount is a Muslim place but before we will talk about it let's talk about the Jewish place. The Dome of the Rock is on top of Mount Moriah according to the Jews and um, and the first stone the foundation stone was there the um, tomb of Adam and Eve according to the Jews were there and the place that Abraham sacrificed Isaac there's a lot of wind I hope that you will hear me I'm trying to hide the wind but it's it's excellent it's better than 40 degrees it's only um, 22 degrees. It's a little bit chilly. I love that. Then, um, then later on, God told the Jews to build His uh, uh, temple on top of it. Then, the Jewish temple that was built by King Solomon, and later on, you know, the temple of King Herod was built there. King Herod wanted to impress, and uh, the Mount Moriah, which is that stone, is too small for that. Then, what he did, he destroyed everything that was around it, he built four walls to build a podium, um, um, plaza. And on top of it, he built the Jewish temple, which was between two to three times higher than the Dome of the Rock. That temple had been destroyed in 1780, the first century, um, just after uh, Jesus ascended into heaven. And for so many years, no one used it. At the seventh century, the Muslims arrive here, and according to the night journey of Muhammad, um, he went from Mecca straight to Al-Aqsa Mosque. Can you see it? Ah, here it is. And he walked through there to the foundation stone, ascended into heaven, and he got the five prayers of a day. Then, although it's um, uh, it's only the third important place for the Muslims, it's still an important place for the Muslims. And from the 7th century, you can see here the uh, Dome of the Rock, and around it is the Muslim quarter, which is the biggest quarter here. Um, another important thing that you must know that the, the other side of the Eastern Wall, something there, but the other side is the Western Wall Plaza. The Western Wall Plaza is another wall of uh, the plaza that King Herod built, but it's if you've been there, it's a small, small place. It's uh, uh, because it, most of the Muslim quarter is built on it, but it originally was as long as that. Um, City of David. Can you see the corner right there? That's where the devil tested Jesus. He told him to jump. And uh, Jesus said, um, I mean, I mean the, the devil said, uh, if you believe in God, he will catch you. But Jesus said, we are not trying God. The other side of it is the awful and that uh, my finger is there is city of david that's where everything began city of david will be next week i, I will actually uh, prepare another amazing video about it then uh, uh, you will be able to see it but i do have so many videos i do have 19,000 videos remember then 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 a lot of them of city of david including two important uh, videos. One of them is of a street that now we know that Pontus Pilate built. Then if you want, if you cannot find it, uh, ask me and I will send you a link for that.
Why did I use a horn? What's happened? Um, let's climb up with the road. And the biggest church there is actually Mount Zion. Mount Zion is where King David was buried. The room of the Last Supper, the tomb of Oscar Schindler from Schindler List, and uh, the House of Mary. And what you see there is the House of Mary. To the right is the Jewish quarter. You will recognize it with the white dome of the synagogue. Um, let's continue to the left, to the right, to the left of the dome. You can see a white tower. This is um, the Redeemer Church, a Lutheran church. But to the right of it, you can see the Church of the Holy Sepulcher. That's where Jesus was crucified, buried, died, and resurrected. To the right, I can show you another green area. And this is the garden tomb. That is where Jesus was buried, uh, crucified, buried, and resurrected. What? Like two stories? Same stories? Two places? Yes. Uh, the 19th century, um, some of the Protestants say that the Jews cannot be buried inside the city, which is true. See, this is the Jewish cemetery outside the city. Um, then it cannot be that the tomb of Jesus will be in the um, center of the city. I'm not going to argue if it's true or not. Then they look for another place and they found a place that looked like a skull. And tomorrow, I'm going to prepare a video for another one who bought um, Rosa, um, a Jerusalem cross. And uh, the tour will be, according to what he asked, from the tomb to the tomb. Amazing, isn't it? Um, what else we can actually find here? Yes, yeah, soon I will leave that place and I will continue. Yeah, now they have to cut the grass. The Garden of Gethsemane, which is down there. But this is Mary Magdalene Church, a Russian church, which is a um, beautiful church, but not connected to the story of Mount of Olives. Although, um, according to what we know, the tomb of Mary was there as well. Then uh, she ascended into heaven uh, from that tomb. Then there is a connection in a way. And because they're cutting the grass now in front of me, they couldn't wait another five minutes. We will say goodbye and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you want to know more, then please ask me. Thank you. Bye bye.